Hello everyone, I'm Fran Scott and welcome to the November edition of Experimentally. Now, as the winter draws in, you might end up using one of these. Now this is a hand warmer and watch how it works. When I click this metal disc just here, you can see that the liquid inside the pack, it starts to turn into ice, it starts to crystallise and that spreads throughout the entire pack until it all ends up being a bit of a slushy solid. And this slushy solid is in fact ice, but it's warm. And to show you how, what I've done is I've taken one apart. So this is the liquid that's inside the package. And it's actually a saturated solution of sodium acetate, a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. And it's been super cooled. So it's been taken down to below its freezing point of 58 degrees Celsius, but it hasn't frozen. And that's because for stuff to freeze, there needs to be a starting point for this crystallization process to begin. And that's called a nucleation site. Now, when you click that metal disc, that creates a nucleation site. And so the liquid can turn into ice. But the thing is, in some circumstances, you don't even need to click the metal disc. So I've got a plate here, it's got a metal disc on, there's a little bit of the ice still on it. And if I pour this liquid on top, Watch what happens. So as I pour it, it should start to freeze. There we go. So as I slowly pour it on, it builds up and up and up and makes somewhat of a hot ice mountain. Now the ice is actually hot. And that's because the crystallization process of that super cold liquid is actually exothermic, which means it releases heat. But the thing is, to get a super cooled liquid, you don't actually need sodium acetate at all. You can use something as everyday as water. And I've shown you exactly how to do this with a short film that follows this. So your mission this month is to watch that film, do the demo, film yourself doing the demo, and then send your videos in to us. So do that, and I'll see you next month. 